I love this soothing music. Although behind you or somewhere around you, it sounds like there's something going on that's not so soothing. Is that your cat? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, my cat's meowing. But anyone who is in the down, down, downtown vicinity can hear a pile driver that is going to build that new timber building that's going oh. in downtown. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the world's, I think, tallest timber structure building. Okay. Well, I don't. They must be piling those timber things way down into the water. <laughs> they've been doing it for a things. long time. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Well, that's okay. So a little construction noise going on. I I get it. Um, yesterday we were talking about book recommendations, and our new meteorologist shared a whole bunch of them. And last night I was at book club, and I shared her recommendations. We're actually going to read one of them that she suggested. Oh, I love it. There was a really good list. You know, one of the things I didn't get to share yesterday when we were talking about books um, was my favorite book light. I got to show it to you. Oh, I yeah. I don't have I mean, a book light. You don't? No. Oh, okay. So it's just a little clip, you know, clips on the back of your book. But the reason why I'm going to tell you it's the best is because it's super bright on your book. Okay. Wait, see if I can turn it around. Whoa. It's really, really bright on your book, but it is absolutely dark in your room. See how you almost can't even see it when it's facing yeah, this way? Yeah, yeah. So if you uh, if you want to save your marriage or if you've got, you know, one couple, that <laughs> one person that goes to bed early and one that stays up later to read, I swear it is the best book light I've ever had. Or I think about um, college kids where you have roommates and you yes. don't want to keep them up. That would be perfect. How about you get that yeah. for me for my birthday? Oh, I'll get that for you for your wedding because oh. I'm going to save your marriage that, that way. That'd be perfect. <laughs> we'll give you all the credit. I'll give you another thing that could save your marriage. Okay. A locking journal. Oh, oh, I have something to say about this. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I remember you I and I talking this. about this because you suggested to me at a critical time to journal. And that's when we talked about a lock. Yeah, and I love this one. I just got it on Amazon. It's, you know, nothing special, but inside it's pretty. But I swear, having a locking journal, I think, allows you, I don't, I mean, I've had exes who've read my journals. So I feel like, mm -mm. personally, That's sometimes wrong. you sort of censor yourself. And the whole point of journaling is to not censor your thoughts and your feelings and to get them out because expression is the opposite of depression, right? If you can yeah. express yourself, you can get it out and hopefully not become depressed by keeping it in. See, I think my mom said this to me. I, I can't remember how she worded it. But if somebody is reading your journal, they know intuitively and consciously that they are um, violating your privacy. Right. But, I mean, the best part was it's like, well, at least you know I'm a good person. So <laughs> at least you know how I feel about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I thought that that was another great thing for people who aren't, you know, journaling because they've got little kids around or they just don't feel like their thoughts are that private. I think a locking journal is actually a great idea. I think it's a great idea, too. And I shared mm -hmm. this with you just because I have kids and sometimes I journal downstairs in my living room or something like that. And it's not that it's so um, secret, but you just want to be able to fully yeah. express your feelings because that therein lies the healing or the yes. wh whatever you're looking for. You want to be able to say it openly. And if you think other people are going to be reading it, you're going to be so much less likely to truly get your, your thoughts out on yeah. paper. Sometimes your thoughts and feelings aren't pretty. And, and that's the reality of, of what <laughs> happens inside of us at times. And so that's why I said, you got to, you got to release it. Yeah, I agree. Put the messy stuff on paper. Okay, I want to transition just a little bit because I don't know if you heard about these swearing birds at a zoo in the UK. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, so, but I want to. There are five parrots. Okay, they were quarantined together um, during a <laughs> short period of time. Now, where they first heard these swear words, I don't know. But what happened is, you know, because they pick up on stuff, they, they all started to swear. And then when they were re-released to be in front of the public, they would be swearing, okay? And so <laughs> what do you think people did? What do you think happened that encouraged them to swear even more? What I just did, they laughed at them. It's all about the reaction. They laughed, people laughed. So then the birds would swear, the people would laugh, so they'd swear <laughs> more. And then the other birds would laugh also when their fellow birds would be swearing. Oh my gosh. That is so, why I am the worst friend anyone can have. Because when your kids do something that they're not supposed to do, I can't help but laugh. Just like anybody who's not a parent, right? Yeah. When it's your parent, when you're parenting, you're like, 
no reaction, straight faced. You've got to do what you got to do to give them zero encouragement. But when right. you're outside of the family, you know how funny it is and you react. Yeah, so well, it reminds me of a time when my kids were young. I was talking to my mom about this because I can't remember if they were in like late grade school or early middle school. But my oldest daughter was talking about it just recently. She said that my mom, her grandmother was like, so tell me all the swear words, you know. And she was like, really? What? Did she really want to know? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and she <laughs> she said a few that were kind of tame. And then my mom's like, no, come on. Let me hear the let me hear the really, really bad ones. Let's go. Oh, Sharon, and so she said I it. love. And I asked my mom recently, I go, why did you do that? Because she remembers that. And um, it was, you know, it was a moment for her. And my mom's like, I'm really not sure. I don't remember that. And then she's like, oh, now that you mention it, yeah, I do. And I think her thing was she wanted to know what, what words she, she knew, but also that she knew the difference between what's okay and what's not okay, I guess. Well, you learn that easily. Who swears more, men or women? I have the answer. Uh, I bet you're going to say women. It's equal. Oh, it's equal. Okay. In fact, if it skews any direction, it's a little bit more to the women, but barely interesting so it's equal yeah well so you and i were talking yesterday too about words that we weren't allowed to say as kids that our parents considered swear words is it what, yeah. what comes to mind for you it still makes me nervous i i can't even say it i don't know if you can say it on tv it's what a vacuum does when a vacuum's doing its job it sucks it sucks i would dust. get in so much trouble for saying that my mom i would say mom it's not a swear word she's like tiffany it's crass oh. and that is bad enough See, Mama O knows. Mama O is very polite. She's a, a, we weren't allowed to say shut up when I was a kid, oh. especially to one another. Well, that was a swear word. Yeah. Was that a swear yeah, word in your either. house? Um, it wasn't a swear word. It was just disrespectful. We weren't allowed to say it. I remember, I, I mean, anytime I, I told you, I tried to talk back one time to my mom. She rolled up a newspaper and she bought me on the head with it. And I was like, oh. <gasps> What? And she was like, I'll oh, get over it. And she walked away. Took care of that. All right, it's our sound off. I never did it again. Today. It's on Facebook. Tell us what you think. What's a word that's not a swear word, technically, that you were not allowed to say as a kid? You were forbidden. All right. People are going to hesitate to even write it. Exactly. Yeah, hoping their moms don't read it. All right.